Hello world, it's Lee Kelson coming to you live from Hong Kong FinTech Week. Uh, and I have with me Charles Dorsey. How are you, Charles? I'm doing fantastic. Very good morning and warm welcome to the Hong Kong FinTech Week. Thanks very much. We had a fantastic day yesterday. There's um, uh, heaps going on. Uh, firstly, congratulations to you and the team for putting on an absolutely amazing event. No, that's great. We've been going this event with the team over the past three years. We went from 2,000 people in 2016 for the first edition. 2017, we doubled the number to 4,000 people. And this year, we are designing the first cross-border fintech event in the world, where we start the week in Hong Kong and finish in Shenzhen, and we bring together 8,000 people. So it's not all about the numbers, but it's really showing how the ecosystem has been growing and how the community has been growing here in Hong Kong. So we're really delighted to be part of it and contribute uh, yeah, through the fintech week to the overall, I would say, very lively uh, uh, life of, uh, of the fintech ecosystem. There's been um, amazing conversations had, particularly one of the ones that we've been very interested in is the whole thing around financial inclusion. Um, really important topic. Uh, one of the statistics that I read recently was 2.5 billion people in the world are unbanked. So it's pretty important that we embrace the financial technology side of things. Exactly, and, and I think this is a conversation we have in Hong Kong as well. Um, even though most of the people are banked here in Hong Kong, uh, there is many global companies here and uh, companies which have very strong agenda in Southeast Asia and globally. And all this technology we are developing for this mature market first, such as Hong Kong, um, is also, uh, I would say, a great and unique tool for us to basically expand businesses overseas and also in include, be more inclusive in the financial uh, services industry with, with new kind of new entrants. Yeah. And being exposed to Southeast Asia, being exposed to mainland China, where there is still, there was basically a, a fantastic delivery in terms of financial inclusion in China. Yeah. Uh, if you look carefully, only a small part of the Chinese a few years ago were banks. And all over a few, uh, a few years, uh, with, uh, with the help of te Chinese technology such as Alibaba or the ecosystem around Tencent, millions of Chinese get banking accounts or payment facilities and all these things. So I think so, this, this is really where we've been able to deliver the first wave of financial inclusion. And I think uh, it's very promising. There is a lot of lessons which have been learned here in Asia and they will benefit to, uh, I would say, uh, the global community overall. Couldn't agree more. Um, one of the speakers I heard, uh, overheard yesterday was talking about the fact that the, the East meets West component of it and the power that comes out of that uh, relationship is sort of like uh, Silicon Valley meeting Wall Street. And exactly. <laughs> now that's, that, that's the value proposition of Hong Kong for so many years. You bring together the East and the West, and we've been doing this in Hong Kong for more than 100 years, with the manufacturing, with the traditional finance, and now with fintech. So this is really, in the, I would say, in the, in the DNA of Hong Kong. If you look at the overall ecosystem here, um, through the survey we did a few, a few weeks ago, we find out that there is about 55% of the fintech entrepreneurs in Hong Kong, uh, which are actually from overseas and 45% are coming from mainland China or Hong Kong. So I think the fintech ecosystem is really showing this, uh, this, uh, this uh, I would say, fact that Hong Kong keeps melting people, ideas and, uh, and ambitions from the east and from the west, and this is very stimulating. That's why you've got so much energy in this room, and it drains us off, but it actually <laughs> keeps us awake. So this is really exciting. It, it, it is absolutely fantastic. And I think we hear a lot of talk about blockchain and cryptocurrencies and these types of things, and people get, I feel, get a bit uh, caught up in all of that. But it's the, the whole financial services and the whole financial products area is much more than that, isn't it? Yes, there is some hypes. So a few years ago, it was all about robo-advisors, and this year, or the past months, it has been about crypto, and the blockchain is still all around. So if you want to use buzzwords, there is always some results. <laughs> so there is buzzwords everywhere. But we see some of these industries really having, uh, having, uh, having some, uh, some progress, and sometimes you need a wave of hype to basically raise the market, raise, uh, raise awareness about the technology, raise some use cases, and the hype comes down, but actually it helps to build a way stronger engagement with the technology. And this is probably what's happening right now with, uh, with blockchain. Yeah. We have this very big wave of blockchain uh, on the retail side with all these ICOs and speculation. But what we've seen also, it is really raise awareness and many people are now within their companies using blockchain for enterprise solutions. And this is maybe where the hype, we have to be vigilant, yeah. but it's also a good, uh, I would say, a good signal that there is an appetite and the people are looking for solutions and looking for innovations. And uh, you just have to wave to navigate these waves yeah. uh, smartly. Yeah. So I think we saw the hype in the dot-com era of 90, you know, late 90s and 2000, um, and then we saw the shakeout. Yeah. 
But then out of that, we got companies like Amazon and, and Google. Spot yeah. on. I think you really get the right, uh, the right image here. The internet in the early days, as you say, goes through the wave of hype and then came down and then really built a, a, a technology, new technology platform and changed our life. And probably AI and as well as blockchain and some other verticals of fintech are also going through these waves and uh, they will be deeply changing us, that's for sure. Uh, Charles, thank you very much and again congratulations to you and all the team that have put together a fantastic event. Thanks for including us. We've, it's a pleasure for delighted. us to be We are delighted to have you here and it's great to have a lot of uh, talents and energy from all over the world. So we look forward to have you next year. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thanks thank Charles. You. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs>